Are you ready, kids? Aye, aye, Captain. I can hear you. Aye, aye, Captain. So, let's talk about it. SpongeBob Bikini Bottom Rehydrated is a cult classic deboot return of the original game. First, let's get that out of the way. This game isn't some snazzy remaster recreation of an old game. It's the same game, better optimized with better character models and graphics. First, I will also say this review is based on the Nintendo Switch version of the game. Results will vary with other platforms. Upon entering the game, I'm already cheering with nostalgia because of of the Spongebob theme and ethics. However, I am never actually beating beaten the original Bikini Bottom, so I went out of my way to beat this version. It starts you off in Spongebob House and as you learn a bit from the game, however, once you leave Spongebob's pineapple, I have noticed an increased sense of slowdown, frame rate issues, and further playing the game, you understand why you have those issues. Over time, they do get better as you unlock more of the game. However, it still sucks seeing the issues right from boot. It was a little disappointing upon first playing the game and seeing it as a first impression. The reason for the issues is because the map is all connected between three, four unlockable late game locations. As you explore these locations, the game sees the ease up and the frame rate does become normalized. SpongeBob Battle of Bikini Bottom is a very fun and very irritating experience at the same time. Because it's the same game, the same old mechanics, and it's very outdated and old. However, it doesn't take away from the game, and my least favorite levels were the Jungle Race in the easily Squidward musical Dream World. I may Managed to complete them and just took some extra attempts over and over with some frustration. The game's core audience is fans with nostalgia and kids, so it's not supposed to be a super hard game, it's supposed to be light and funny. The game retains the main voice actors, which was surprising until I heard Mr. Krabs. But I do get it. You can't have everyone return, and at least Mr. Krabs tried his best. It retains its Spongebob-like charm and funniness, and with my time playing, I got a few good laughs in. I simply adore the TV show and its characters, so the game strikes to my inner child. The game does feature local and online multiplayer, which honestly is a waste of time. I wish I never committed to finishing the online multiplayer, as there isn't a concrete reward for doing so, and it's just something else to do other than the main game. If you want to play with some extra fan-favorite characters, such as Squidward, Plankton, and even Gary the Snail, you could do so in that mode. They also have a theater mode, which is super disappointing once you grind up the shinies, because you need about 40,000 of them just to find out you only get pictures. I really hoped for a few, like, episodes or maybe a trailer of a teaser of a new Spongebob video game, but you get nothing. The game also is super short, but considering its price, it's well justified. It could be around 6 to 10 hours and for me, I think I completed it in like seven and a half. It has its fun share of mini games and collectibles that you can toy with. However, there is sometimes audio glitches and even bugs in the game that will cause you to get stuck and you have to repeat the level or just die and go back to the checkpoint. Hopefully they also get fixed because there is a sneaky version glitch on the Nintendo Switch version. I do love the fast traveling system in the game and there's many easter egg cameos from the show that they poured in. However, I'm disappointed that I didn't get to hear my leg and I didn't get to see the magic conch shell. However, Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom is a very solid title on the Nintendo Switch. Even with its old mechanics, bugs and glitches and all, I still enjoyed my time playing. And with its price, every Spongebob fan shouldn't be scared to give it a try. We here at NGI give Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom for the Nintendo Switch in 8 out of 10. Perhaps on other platforms, Spongebob can get a higher rating, but with everything wrong with the Switch version, I cannot possibly score it higher, nor do I think it deserves any lower. Want to know how we score our games here at NGI? Make sure you check out the ranking system video on our channel. Stay tuned for more gaming tech news and reviews. Smash that like, and as always, subscribe. God bless and peace. Oh, <laughs>